Right, I've decided to come down because there was quite a big herd and calves. I didn't really want to overstep their boundary. Um, so a quick visit. I managed to get some video. Um, I wasn't going to go down the way I came. It was very steep. In fact, it can be much more dangerous going down facing forward than coming up. Um, so there's Glastonbury, my lovely Glastonbury right over there, look. A lot of cow noises. So you can even see little sticks of people on the top there. Lots of moomoos. The cows in that field haven't moved, so I think I strike while the iron's hot, they say. Although there was one loose white cow mooing like it was lost. Um, but I'm going down this way because I can remember there was there was a lot of vegetation. And I'm going down an angle. So I've done it now. It's been done. It won't have to be done now for if I feel like it in another 10 years. You don't have to keep coming up here, you know. Look how steep it is though. It's quite steep. Like I said, it looks small when you're on the other hills and you look down on it just looks nothing but when you get here you can see it's quite a big I tell you the atmosphere at the moment is starting to warm up it feels very like it's brewing for a storm I can just imagine thunder and lightning up here now in the past see that little track there that little lane I've cycled from over Wedmore where I was last week doing the church I might even be able to get the church in if I zoom in for Wedmore I was over there, I took old Berta for a little trip. There we are, there's Wedmore Church, that. Which I did last week, in the village of Wedmore. And of course in the past I would cycle from Wedmore, up these lovely little lanes. So peaceful, it really is when you're out there. I had a friend called Ian, he's passed away now, but he's, I went, climbed up, Glastonbury tour with him quite a long time ago now and we got up there and he said god I couldn't have to do with a nice drink of beer and I and I said oh yeah well we can when we get down and then he said to me well I knew a quick way down Sheila I said all oh, right what's that he said we we're going to roll down it that it was a bit it's bumpy like this really Glastonbury tour it's got like rocks and stones sticking up but we were young and stupid, I suppose. Young here. I wasn't that young. I wasn't like in my 20s. I was probably in my 40s. So, he'd done it before. So he knew roughly a good place to roll down. My God, it was exhilarating. We made sure we tied down our money. We wouldn't want to get to the pub and have no money. Oh God, that was good. Those were days where I used to go out with Ian and others. Even my kids, used to, we used to call them missions. Yeah, my God, we used to go out into the countryside, go and visit real, real pubs. And Ian's, me, Ian, another chap that I knew, we visited this real old pub called Eli's, a thatched cottage place with a real, very old-fashioned bar, everything. Um, you just walk into this little room and there's loads of barrels. They're in like a bar or such. And they do real ill. Anyway, once we... Our, our local pub had, had just some bench. It had come out of a church. And so they, it was just stuck in a garage. And so we said, oh, what, what do you want? Can we have that bench? So the landlord said, yeah, that'd be all right. You know, it's been stuck out there for a long time. So he gave us the bench and we took it out to Eli's. And we got a plaque. I got a plaque. My brother-in-law, in-law, um, but my sister's partner, he, uh, he was an engraver. He engraved this lovely plaque for us. So we went out one day and uh, we had a little ceremony where we screwed the... Um, plaque to the bench 
And you know what? That's a long time ago. You're talking 20... Oh, at least 25, maybe 6, 7, 8... Not quite 30, but it's a, it's a long time. And that bench, my, one of my kids went out there not long ago said, Mum, that bench is still there, pride of place. Now, that was such an unusual pub. I need to go out there again myself. There's that cow, that lone cow there. I need to go out there again myself one day. Because, um... It was a very weird pub, honestly. It had special little rooms, you know. Real old worldy, old fireplaces. Um... Now, what I suggest you do, that cow is young and he's on his own. What I suggest you do, give him space, Sheila. Then, you, if, you, if necessary, you'll have to throw off your bag and roll under the barbed wire fence. Okay? Which, if I just look over here, could actually be done. I could easily climb over that and get down there. But he's looking busy munching. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disturb him. I'm just gonna walk past. He's obviously not with the rest of the herd. Anyway, going back to the bench again. I, I will have a mission out there because I've got to do Langport churches. There's still churches I haven't really done properly yet. So that'll give me an excuse to go out there while I've still got Alberta, of course. There's lots of missions. I ought to have a list, really. It's only moments like that you think of things. I mean, fancy me thinking of that coming down this hill. It's weird, isn't it? It's because I was talking about Ian and how he showed me how we can get down the hill quickly. And from that conversation, we got onto the bench. So if you ever go to a pub... Uh, village of Langport, not far from Western Island. The pub's called Eli's. It might have another official name. Um, I can't remember what it is at the moment, whether it's the Kings and Queens. I don't know. I can't remember. But it, everyone knows Eli's. And uh, it's got a thatch, low thatch roof. Other things we used to do with them is um, our pub would take them on at cricket. That was mixed sex, children as well. And we'd play, we'd, in the summer, we'd go out and have a couple matches of cricket with them. And it was absolutely fantastic. We'd take a big picnic, there'd be real ale, we used to get a minibus. And we had such fun in the summer sun. That's what Somerset people do. Those are really good times. Um, it's good to remember those moments in time, actually, because... Um, few people that were there have passed away now as we all have to eventually and like I said this is my second time here I'm glad I was brave and climbed despite the cows I was too breathless to have run away from them and as you can see they they can climb up there dead easy but they didn't they didn't what they weren't, weren't bothered by me but I'm still would that wouldn't make me think oh it's alright again no you have to assess the situation they had a program on about cows the other day and it said you must give them spa a space an arc don't don't stretch over their arc now for years I used to walk amongst them I'd get into a field and say oh go and get out there you know the way. I did that up into my early 60s I was doing that <sighs> But not uh, when I was surrounded and felt threatened, no. Anyway, this is Nyland Mound, everyone. I'm going to look up the history again. I would have done it in the past. And it'll all be recorded somewhere. But that'll be ten years ago when I was cycling. And uh, somebody, the farm down there, let me put my bike in their garden. When I came in, I was ten years younger, but I, I was still about to give up a smoke him um, so I was still a smoker and I had a fag on the top there I had a fag on the top uh, I don't do that anymore in fact I haven't I gave up smoking once before I haven't had a fag now for quite a long time I started giving it up about uh, 
2009, 10, 10, 11 years ago. And uh, so I don't smoke anymore. But there was another episode where I didn't smoke from the age of 25 to about 43 or 42. I didn't smoke at all when I had my children, when they were first born. Neither did their dad. We didn't smoke. I went 16 years without a fag. And then before that, I hardly smoked as a very young person anyway. I didn't really smoke a lot. Obviously, when you went out for a night out, that's when you used to smoke the most. And I had rules. I'd never smoked before midday, for example. It used to make me feel sick. <sighs> so, anyway, that's that. My lungs are... I did quite well getting up that hill, I thought. Be quite honest, it was steep. It made you go slow, so that you didn't rush it. Made you go slow. Ah, look, that's through there. Glastonbury saying bye then, Sheila. Come over to us soon. Come over to our rural museum and have a look round again. It's open now. Yeah, that's where my ashes will be put when I go up there. Keeping an eye on my Somerset. Although I love my Quantock Hills, actually, but it is a. I sometimes think I should go up on the Quantocks still, because my sister Jude's up there. But I don't know. I don't know, really. Over now, everyone.